Hey guys, I am so excited. Oh my gosh. So, this lab, I realized it was an ice lab. I started to kind of just clear it out and, like, look at what I found. I just was, like, kind of scanning through the items. Check it out. The book. The book. The book we've been looking for. Right here. Just right here. <laughs> like, seriously. <gasps> oh my gosh. And... That's weird. Our temperatures rise. I thought we were in an ice lab. Our temperature is comfortable here. And then it's, like, cold here. Oh, so this isn't an ice lab. It's, like, a hot, cold lab simultaneously. That is weird. In any case, I really don't care. I've been waiting so long to get this medical mutagen book. I'm grabbing this. I'm getting out of this bu the reality bubble because, you know, ants. Like, a lot of them. Um, and we're gonna see about what we can, uh, what we can accomplish with this thing. I'm, I'm honestly so excited about it. Like, you have no idea. Like, let's just kind of read it. Uh, maybe we should be reading this somewhere else. Yeah, this is gonna be not a good place for us to be, for doing, like, any crafting of any sort. So let's just go out into the field somewhere where there's no more ants. Oh, hold on. We should probably have our windshield open. There we go. Much better. Oh, man. We're gonna become a mut uh, mutant, guys. I was just reading on the um, the GitHub some of the discussions of the devs were having about like mutations and bionics, and basically they, they want there to be more of a decision of you choosing between being both, or uh, one or the other, like either going for like bionics a lot or like not very much at all, you know? Um, or mutagen a lot or not very much at all, and not really having a best of both worlds. I mean, you might be able to do a little bit of one and a little bit of the other, but you're not going to be able to just go like bananas, so to speak. So if I want to make medical mutagen, do I just need some batteries in our... I don't know, what, what do we have? That chemistry set? Yeah, we have a chemistry set in here somewhere. Yep, there we go. Let's get that loaded up, and we should be able to do plenty of crafting. And hey, look, our batteries are, are fully charged. I'm just curious if I want to eat one of the batteries. Can I eat that? Yep. And that, too. Thank you. Cool. Um, so let's look at that mutagen, right? Medical mutagen. I'm going to favor that because, honestly, I'm so, so excited. We can make only three of them, but I think that's because we have, like, limiting reactants, essentially. Um, and then we'll be able to, like, yeah, like, the pink tablets are limiting us, but we can, like, switch out other things for that. Um, sure, we have tons of multivitamins. Uh, pour that into this thermos, I guess. Okay, there, there's the medical mutagen. Let's make three more of that. I really we'll see about using up just as much as we can of everything and then we'll we'll make some more stuff put some in that pour that into there and then yeah let's just keep on going how much more can I make awesome let's do it I remember I was I was reading some comments about a tourniquet. Do I need to make one of those? Tourniquet arm. Is it only work on the arm? What about for the leg? I mean, that sounds like super useful and all, but... <laughs> Let's use our wire, sure. Um, I want to take that with me. That's kind of crazy. If I open up a first aid kit... I haven't done this in this version, so I'm just gonna... Just in case it crashes it, because it could. 
you know, with any version of the game right now. I'm just unsure about what anything's gonna do. Some bandages, okay. Might be able to use some of this. I'll take the bandages for sure and the antiseptic. Um what about for like a leg tourniquet? I'm just curious if I wanted to look at at these, where would it would it be medicine? Yeah, okay, so let's just look at the medicine stuff. I mean, I'm not seeing the tourniquet in here, actually. Oh, wait, here we go. There's the tourniquet for the arm. But again, not for the leg. Oh, it can be adjusted to in size to fit different limbs. Oh, okay. So I, I adjust it. I activate. Got it. Okay. So where is it now? Tourniquet arm XL leg. That's interesting. So it it will be made for different um, different size arms or leg. I think a leg one is gonna be more likely to kill you. So I'm gonna keep it in leg. <laughs> I mean, realistically, there's a lot more blood that's gonna go out that way, right? That is really interesting, though. I'm I'm in, excited to play around with that. Okay, let's see. Sure, um, sure. And okay. And I think we're starting to run out of the ability to make the stuff. No, actually, we could we can still make some. It's just one at a time now at this point because we're running out of. Uh, Reactants, whatever. And I think we've got one last dose that we can make there. Okay. See, now we're gonna have the uh, the medical serum get made, and we can make five of them. Okay, yeah, we're totally gonna become a medical mutant here. And I'm honestly just gonna down it all. Um, we'll do it in a thermos, and then where is that serum? Uh, yeah, medical serum. Do I have any other medical serum? I do not. Okay. Do I have any mutations that I want to get rid of? I think these are all basically our default ones. Okay. Um, syringe. We need a syringe. Syringes. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Let's do it. Um, okay. I'm just gonna look at things. Okay, we only got disease resistant. That was not as exciting as I thought. What? Really? Okay. Pain recovery and lightweight. Normal human. <laughs> Is that uh, the mutation line for? I think that must be for the med the medical line. Where is it? Uh, we've still got two doses left. Forgetful and poor hearing. God, we're getting all the crummy ones. Poison resistant. Okay, at least we got poison resistant, right? So we got disease. Um, so we got disease resistant, pain recovery, and poison resistance. Okay, kind of nice. Um, but we got so many bad things. We got like bad knees there. We got forgetful. Okay. That's gonna be annoying. We've got the thing that actually, like the thing that counters, and we can get rid of one if it's really bad. Okay, we got lightweight, but apparently we also have resistance to stuff. I don't know. 
And I think we got poor hearing, which we used to have good hearing, but I'm not, that's not going to affect me too bad. Okay, so we need to figure out how to make more medical mutagen because we need to go deeper down that rabbit hole. Um, medical mutagen, what do we need for that? Poppy painkiller. Um, poppy sleep, right? So we need poppy painkiller and poppy sleep. Um, which I can make both of them. How much can I make of each one? I can make one of that. And... One of this. That's probably not enough to make any medical mutagen, huh? Nope. Okay. Well, maybe we can go raiding for doctor's supplies. That might be our best bet. I think that we could do that. Um, why don't we get those drugs, though, and just put those away somewhere? <laughs> you know? I'm excited, though. We've, we've taken our first step into becoming a, uh, a mutant. I think the, the us hanging out here, though, is not a good move. I think that would be kind of silly of us. I, I'm kind of done also with the labs for a little while. I'm sure you guys understand. Now that we've got the ability to become a better human, I think we should, you know? Oh man, I've been getting so many spam calls recently, it's absurd. It's like, seriously crazy. I've been getting like, I think I got like 10 recently. Like, not even kidding. Like yesterday. Over 10, maybe. Okay, I think, yeah, let's go ahead and work on getting some better cybernetics in us, and I think we could do that, I don't know, maybe we could drive back down to one of the cities that we've kind of cleared out and do some raiding there, and we could also fight in Darien, kind of clear that place out. I think, though, that we've got places cleared out that we can, we can loot if we go down to, like, here. Yeah, let's just, let's go back. Why not? We have those places cleared out. There's supplies to make mutagen there just essentially waiting for us. Um, let's go this way. This way doesn't have giant ants that are going to block our way. We also have been operating just solely off electricity for a while now. I didn't realize this, but we're, we're carrying diesel, but our engine is gasoline. Um, for a vehicle. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I, I am especially not interested in doing that lab right now, seeing how it's a cold lab. And I've had to do, like, three cold labs recently, at least. At the very least. Three cold labs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure normal, normal human is the medical mutagen <laughs> thing, because if I, like talk to my buddy here and I look they have well feline eyes is yellow bovine is white okay so maybe I haven't crossed the threshold then yeah I need to be careful because I could just take like straight up mutagen and see what happens to me but I don't really want to play that game and ha wasted all that medical supplies, you know? There's also likely to be some medical things there. There's also a mine right here. I think I'm gonna need to come back and clear out a lot of these med those military things, but now that we've got this... Uh, oh, there's a lot of uh, people right here. Oh, where are they? And a bus in front of us. Eh. Which one's which? Oh, okay, that one's actually the heavy. Okay, yeah. Turn around. I was gonna say we could just drive through a couple of them, but if that's the juggernaut, nope, I'm not driving through that. <laughs> um, we could loop over to the side this way. 
And they could also prob they probably would clear out that area pretty quick. Um but it won't take us long to go this way. That's the nice thing about being at this point in the game is that it doesn't take you that long to get around the map, you know? Hey, you're just gonna go by the mine here. There's gonna be like no medical things in there. At this point, I literally just want like a doctor's office or something. And it's kind of funny that we've got the flu right now because I think that we uh, might recover due to that faster now. That we've got this resistance to diseases. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that we gotta go further down the medical line. Oh, is this? That's the lab that I've explored. It's weird. Should have marked that as explored, right? Okay, uh, it will just kind of cut through and head back down. It's good to be out into the, in the the wild, so to speak, of this game. Again, back out there. Um, there is a lot of ants, like a lot of ants. Should probably have realized that was gonna be an issue coming down this way. Um, we'll kind of cut down and over. So I'm thinking, and go where they're a little bit less uh, dense. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um, hold on. Just give me a second. Is that text? Okay. I think it's now I'm getting spam texts. Believe it or not. I didn't know that was the thing. Uh what's going on here? Oh, this must be the lab. Is this the lab I blew my way into? I like blew up part of it or something. It's like slimes just like outside. No big deal. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's like holes all over. Here, this is kind of sketch to be driving around. I think that we're in the clear now. If I look at... Yeah, we're kind of in the clear. There might be some stuff underneath us. No, we're, we're fine though. Unless it's like ant hills. There, there could be like an ant hill cave tunnel underneath us. I don't know. Exactly how big those things get. Sorry about that. <laughs> Did not see that guy there. <laughs> These ants, man. There's so many. Excuse me. I do like the tile for the the soldiers that the big ones but it also is really misleading because it makes you think that they're like super tough they're not that tough like a soldier ants we were able to kill in the early game with the right approach super easy too you remember i was living off those guys i think before it, they were considered mutant meat okay that's uh let's just get over i think that we're pretty much there. I could also be collecting a lot of poppy right now and be brewing with that. But I am curious about how practical it is to actually live off of the zombies. You know? Because I think it is doable. Let's just go around this way because from what I remember... Oh, we just killed a turkey. Whoops. There was some shenanigans going on over there. Okay, that's uh let's see, can I auto drive to like there? Uh no I can't. Okay. Guess I gotta do it manual. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Or something like that, right? So we're gonna have pain recovery, which I wonder with our minimal pain how it's gonna work, and our depressants and weakness and all that. I don't know what's going on. I think that we got a lot of the negatives there, so we gotta get some positives. 
<laughs> and we we don't have the uh let's see bar fast food i think there's got to be can i i can't zoom on this no Music store. I mean, the houses might have some medicine, but what I want is like a doctor's office or something. Not seeing anything. Not right off the bat. Uh. No. I mean, I've I've looted a number of these things already. There's a dispensary there, right? Forgot about that. Um. Anything, restaurant, open sewer. I, I know there's got to be like a pharmacy or something around here in this area that I haven't looted yet. Veterinary clinic, that's perfect. That would be, that would be a good start. Is there anything else that might be police station, pet supply store, maybe? Let's go for the vet. We'll go check out the vet clinic and, and see what's up there. I think a lot of these houses will have medicine in them, so if I wanted to just, like, jump between houses, that would be a totally viable thing to do as well. Um, it might actually be a lot harder to just go all the way down than to just clear out some of these houses. Let's just take a let's just take a minute. We'll clear out some zombies. I know we're kind of weak from just taking mutagen, so we need to be careful though. Uh, we we are dead tired, but we do have a minotaur with us. So I'm not super concerned, because I'm not even really planning on doing much of the fighting. If I'm completely honest, you know? I think that we'll be pretty good to go. Oops, sorry, I just need to check text message that I just got. Okay, I think that we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Alright, um, so there that... Zombies down. There was a Hulk somewhere around here. So we do need to be careful because we don't want to get blindsided by that. Let's just basically go raiding in people's medicine cabinets. Where's that wrestler? Is this, uh... Is that... That's the door. Okay. Let's see... Anything that I can see, medicine. Can I, like, filter for, like, drugs or something? Is that a thing that I can do? I can, like, be sure I can. Just I'm not sure how it works. That door's locked. I need some way of unlocking this. Uh, that apparently is not really a way down. Just chopsticks. There... Is there this bathroom that's like locked? Is that the only bathroom? How weird. Whatever. I'm walking and I'm okay. Getting wounded, I guess. Um. Very strange. Very strange indeed layout to this, this house. Okay, I'm gonna say that that place has been looted. And this is a bar and a... Okay, so if we wanted to loot houses for medicine, we're gonna want to go up there. Which is... There's quite a few zombies, so let's go get the car. At the very least. See, this is what Cataclysm is all about. It's about, like, looting houses and trying to fight zombies. I mean, we're, we are dead tired. 
I think that I kind of want to go through the city because I want to get to the place that we install CBMs a little bit. Okay, let's see what... Yeah, the path looks pretty clear this way. I think that we're fine. We wanted to go through here. I feel like I've even driven through here before. Have I? Did I do an, that in a previous episode? Yeah, we're gonna get hit by some zombies. But we're we're fine. We're totally fine. There's even some acidic ants here because there's an acidic ant hill. Uh, there's a trailer park there. Maybe they've got drugs in there. Uh. Restaurant, right? Sure, let's let's try and, and make our way south. Let's do it. We'll try and cut through ant territory. Um yeah, we're we're fine. Like I'm honestly not too worried. Maybe I should be a little bit more cautious because we could get kind of cornered here. Especially seeing how I don't recognize a lot of the zombies due to the tiles just being the Z. So I'm kind of just being a little bit more cautious than maybe I should be or I need to be. Oh, what's this? Landon Arham at the other end of the football field. Landon Parham. There's a lot of zombies there. I think I can get to Landon. But I also kind of want to get to the veterinary clinic. It's kind of on my way. You know, if if I can drive kind of through the field, which I'm, I can't remember if I can. I've always wanted to, though. <laughs> can I just, like, drive, like, straight onto the field? I can. Oh, my gosh. That's hilarious. Okay, cool. Who are you, Mr. Landon Parham? Is this a hostile person? Oh, I just destroyed the football. I hope this guy wasn't here to play football. It's a cabin. In the middle of the city. Okay. Let's go say hey to Landon. In the cabin in the middle of the city. That's totally, like, fine, right? just this place. Yeah, this is like super bizarre. I don't see Mr. Uh, Landon. Yeah, you can take care of that, right? Cool. Mr. Landon? I'm gonna be on safe mode. Oh. Keep your distance. Uh, let's see. Hello there. Oh, cool. Nice. Can keep you safe, maybe? Aw, oh, dude, nice. Um, stop picking up. Yes, okay. Okay, so we got kind of lucky there, because that guy just basically... Ha did he have a gun or anything? He did have a gun. I mean, it was a pistol, I think, right? What is that? He could have just blasted me, though. I mean, I probably could have ran out of the way before he got shot off, but... And then he would have probably blasted my big old min Minotaur friend, but I think we would have been fine. Um... Yeah, can I talk to you about your abilities? 
Oh, she's a masochist. Okay. Good to know. That's what you open with, friend. He's good with piercing weapons, too. Very good with them. At least he doesn't eat meat. He's got a different blood type, though. That's interesting. Got B+. Plus. I mean, don't we have someone who's A, B-, minus? so we've got the universal donor somewhere in here? Um, let's see. A, B-, minus, right? So we could take blood from the Minotaur. What is this um, I'm looking at? It's a damaged wooden door. Hello, friend. Um, so if I... Can I... I wanted to look at your items. Is it D? A? Ah, uh, okay. Never mind then. That was the wrong button. Not A, uh, B. Yeah, it's just like some little pistol that he's got. What else do you have? Disposable battery. Yeah, you don't have much, honestly. You know what, buddy? You should just sit in the car. Honestly. <laughs> like, completely honest. This guy is just gonna get himself, like, hurt. So I'm gonna leave him in the football field in the car here. With, uh, with Harvey. Do you guys... Oh, never mind. He's... He doesn't respect the don't open or close the... Or keep the door closed. Uh, rules. Let's see. Landon. Um... B. I want you to... G to close doors and to not walk through do closed doors. And I don't investigate noises that you can't see. Yeah. Oh. Should, should mean that you stay in there, right? Okay, cool. They're staying in there. And my character is not looking great, so maybe I should end this here. Actually, yeah, I'm going to just end this episode, I think, in here at this point. And um, give our character some, like, sleep or something. I don't know. They... they I think needs some some shut eye. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.